Thank oh, you. we thank you. We yeah, thank Lord. you. Good morning. Good morning. And Good morning. welcome to Tree of Life Empowerment Ministry Church, a church that is Christ driven and kingdom focused, where the Reverend Phyllis Scott is our senior pastor. Oh, bless the Lord at all yes. times. Amen. And let the praises be out of our mouth continually. Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, we give thanks unto the yes. Lord this morning for just another Sunday morning that he's allowed us to walk into his presence. Yes, we have a scripture and tree we start off with each morning. And each morning that scripture will be coming from will be in the book of Psalms. In the book of Psalms. Amen. 152 in the book of Verses 1 and 2. Yes. Yes. Oh, let's go. Let's go. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand in the night gates, O Jerusalem. Think about that. I was glad when they said unto me, making it personal for me to walk into the house of God. I'm so glad to be in the house of God. Lord God, I pray everybody had a blessed Thanksgiving, but it's such a blessing to walk back into God's house on a Sunday morning. Oh my God, just filled with joy of the Lord, not happiness, the joy of the Lord, because the joy of the Lord lasts well, but the joy of the Lord to be in his presence just one more time, to come and sit in his holy presence. And just let him minister to us on today because he has a word for us today. But it says, I was glad. That means we ought to be rejoicing. We got up this morning. We were able to walk. We was able to move. We was able to see. So we ought to say, thank you, Lord, yeah. for just that. So see, when you walk in the house of the Lord, the God, you come in excited about being in this presence. Be excited about being renewed and restored. And hearing the word of God, when you said those gates, that means when you walk past them into the house, those were the gates that we're entering into. Yeah. And so we're glad when we come into his presence. Always be glad. He says, bless his name. Bless that name all times. At all times. For he's worthy of our praise and worship. And I just give you this thing on this morning. So just allow me, this old servant, to be right here this morning. And every morning that I get up, that I'm able to walk in this house and worship the Lord. Just one more time. Amen. 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 So right now, before I get started this morning, lifting up those on our prayers. Let us continue to lift up the Titan family and the members of Shiloh Christian Church. And let us continue to lift up the pastors of Hope Center. And continue to lift up Brother David and Monique Zamora. Let us continue to lift up Sister Pamela Wilder. Let us lift up Sister Heather Wilder. Let us lift up Sister Andrea Smith. And let us lift up Sister Eva. Oh Lord God, let us continue to lift up the Washington family. And lift up our Sister Imani Catherine. Let us continue to lift up Apostle Murdoch and their family. And let us continue to lift up Brother Daryl Allen Jr. Let us continue to lift up Cher and Daryl And let us continue to lift up Chief Laron Armstrong and the Oakland Police Department. Lord God, let us continue to pray for the 119 families who have been tossed to killing bodies and over 500 who have been injured through the reckless acts of violence. And as always, Father God, you keep Pastor Scott and her family with the rest of you. And now may God's love, compassion, and God's healing power be upon all those who have been blessed. Let us continue in our prayer for our community for spiritual and wellness. Amen. Spiritual wellness does not take the place of the things that we need to do for ourselves on a daily basis. Of course, we need to do the things that we need to do for God. We need to believe in the people of God for us. But we also need spiritual wellness. That means to be able 
to use the word of God to help us spiritually to combat those things that come yeah. it's our spirit yeah. those things that come to make us distracted and forget who God is or what he can do in Proverbs 3 it, it says in my Bible wisdom bestows well being that means wisdom brings well being and it says, my son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Spiritual wellness brings us peace. That means in the midst of a storm, in the midst of things that are going wrong, we can speak to our own hearts. Those things which God has already spoken to us, those things that he wants us to know, yes, that his word can bring us peace. That he will never leave us or forsake us in the midst of what we go through. To keep his commands and to be faithful, that brings us spiritual wellness. To be able to quote the word of God and just burst down strongholds in our lives. Fear, to not let fear overtake us when we're in fearful situations. Spiritual well-being, not to forget that we need the word of God just as much as we need food every day. And so God, we come, Lord, praying together as a community that you would help us with spiritual well-being, Lord Jesus, to not forget your word, God, and to be able to use your word in daily situations, God, when we get discouraged, God, to know that you are an encourager, God. Lord, when we get fearful, Lord Jesus, to know that you did not give us a spirit of fear and to know we need to speak life into ourselves, God, into our spirits, God. God, not that we neglect the things, the other things that we need to do, God, but that we put you first, God, and allow your spiritual healing, God, to take place in our lives. To God, not lean on our own understanding, God, but to lean on your word, God, to pray continually, God. All those things that you gave to us, God, so that we can maintain spiritual wellness, God. Oh, the enemy would like nothing more than to make us believe that we are not okay. But God, you want every victory, God. Every single one, God. There is not one that defeated you. You sent Jesus, Lord, so that we may have life and have life more abundantly. So that we may speak victory, God. God, that our faith might be in darkness, God. Lord, that we know who you are and what you have already done. Lord, not that we will never be discouraged, but that we won't stay. That we may keep hope, Lord. That we may have faith in what you have done and what Jesus has done for us. Help us, Lord, in our spiritual well being, Lord. Help us, God, in such a time as this, God. We're in a season, Lord, where we should be able to have joy, God. We're in a season, God, where you want us to love on one another, God, and be with our families, God, and go out, God, and, and have a good time with one another, Lord, to sing your praises, God. And we want to do that, Lord. We don't want to be fearful to go out of our homes, God, because they're smashing and grabbing. Lord, we're not going to let anybody smash our faith, God. We're not going to let anybody grab our hope, God. We will hold on to our hope. We will hold on to our faith, God. We will continue to lift up one another, God, and tell each other that everything is going to be all right. Because we believe it. Because we know that you are God and God alone. God, that we can have victory. Yes, we can. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Let us grab hold to what you have given us, Lord Jesus. Let us grab hold to what you have given us, Lord Jesus. Let us not be fearful to go out in our community and help somebody else, God. Let us not be fearful, God, and hold on to our own lives, God, but give them freely to you. 
and however you would like to use them. Let us more take it. The pen name and ink that everlasting on that unchanging thing. We thank you and we praise you for fellowship. We thank you and we praise you for love. We thank you and we praise you for the protection that you've allowed us, God. You've protected us in spite of, God, you have. And we give you glory. We give you honor. And we give you praise. In Jesus' mind, your master's name, let the church say, Amen. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Thank the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord in this house. Amen. Oh, God has been so good. We thank Jesus for today. We thank him for this sanctuary, this church body, Amen. Tree of Life and Power yes, Ministry Church, our pastor, Pastor Phyllis Scott. And we have a few community announcements that Pastor Scott would like for you to have for such a time as this. We know that there is a struggle. God knows there is a struggle, but there's also hope and help. And so the Oakland Housing Authority has emergency housing vouchers. If you call 211 for those who are homeless or are on the verge of being homeless, please call 211. There is help available. There's also the COVID vaccine available. We know that things are still happening. New variants are popping up. But God has allowed us to have this vaccine available. And there are several churches who are doing the work. And at Allen Temple Baptist Church, you can get a no cost to you vaccine December 4th on Saturday. Friendship Christian Center, National and International Boulevard in East Oakland. Friendship Christian Center on Wednesdays on Adamon Street. Uh, that's in the West Oakland area. Community Christian Church for Christ on Thursdays. That's on 34th Street. And Greater St. Paul on Tuesdays. And a Martin Luther King Jr. Way, that's in the downtown area. So all over Oakland, there are places you can go. Amen. Amen. Also, the Community Chaplaincy Program. That is a program sponsored by the Pastors of Oakland, President Pastor Phyllis Scott, and the Oakland Police Department and volunteers who are being trained to go out and be community chaplains, to show up for families in need, to show up for our children to show up for the sick and the poor and the need, those in need of spiritual wellness. Amen? Amen. And if you're interested in volunteering, Pastor Scott is accepting applications for next year's team. Hallelujah. What a blessing. This year's team is continuing with their training and uh, God has been good and blessed us in it. Amen. Amen. So if you're interested, call 510-688-7437. Uh, Pastor Scott, the pastors of Oakland are accepting applications. Also, on um, Monday, December 6th, we will have the uh, People Parish for the Lack of Knowledge Book Club. Amen, amen. Our book club, and we are studying Grace by Max yes. Picasso which tells you about God's unmerited grace, his powerful, unbelievable grace. And we're doing that together. The uh, Zoom information is on your screen. Please join us at 6 p.m. every first Monday of the month. Amen. Amen. And that is truly a blessing, and we pray that you join us for that. And at this time, thank you for being with us. Um, during our announcements. And at this time, this is the time that we share in God's goodness and his grace, yeah. his mercy, everything that he's doing. We just had another Thanksgiving. Yeah. And I want to thank God for just another year. Yeah. Because he's blessed us with another year, another time to be able to, to say thank you, Lord. And I just thank God for the uh, family, um, all the fellowship, the uh, pouring out really that happened during Thanksgiving well, with those who wanted to talk to God and, sh and share their thankfulness and gratefulness for who God is. And I pray that you were able to get together with your family, your friends, whomever, your neighbor, and just give honor to God and give thanks to God for who he is and what he's done. 
And so if there's anybody in the house today who has a testimony, um, you can come right before the altar and give your testimony. Are there any testimonies in the house today? I'll make that a testimony for my heavenly father. I just wanted to thank God this morning for allowing me to, to get up this morning to be in his presence. Mm -hmm. You know, I, God just been so much on my mind. He's on my mind every day now. You know, I think about him and his goodness and his grace and his mercy and what he's doing in my life. You mm -hmm. know, God is, is, is in the blessing business, you know, and, and it, it, it taught, it's teaching me how to wait on God. You know, I only I just give it to God and just leave it alone. And God just said, uh, this awesome, this awesome. I'm here to just worship my God. I'm here to thank God. I'm here to praise Him. To be in this house just one more day with, with my church family and, and just come together as one and just thank you guys for, for allowing me to be here. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God has been so good. Are there any other testimonies in the house today? I just want to tell God thank you for this day and I just want to thank you for today. Ministering to me and doing me. I just want to give God all just just tell him thank you because he's an amazing and yes. awesome God. And that's all I have to say about him is that he is amazing and awesome. He does amazing and awesome things in anyone's life who's open to receiving it. So I'm just saying thank you for just taking care of me, providing for me, being that peace that's in my life and the head of my life. So I just want to tell you thank you for just Thank you, amen. amen. For whatever it is in your heart that you are grateful for, just tell the Lord thank you. Yes. Thank you for those thanks and testimonies, testimonies of thanksgiving. And now we'll ask our pastor, our very own pastor, senior pastor, Reverend Phyllis Scott, to come with words. Amen. 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 I hope and pray everybody had a blessed and wonderful Thanksgiving. I pray that you did not lose the opportunity to say thank you to the Lord for everything that God has done for you. That is an opportunity because he didn't, he didn't have to give us the time to say thank you. He didn't have to bring you through everything that you've gone through. But I have a message today. Amen. And that is sometimes you're so down that the only thing that you can do is go up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so don't worry about it if people put you down. Mm -hmm. If you feel like you're down. Mm -hmm. If they take your heart and step on it. I don't care. Sometimes you can be so down yeah. that the only thing left for you to do is get up. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only thing left for you to do is get yeah. back yeah. up. Yeah. And so sometimes being down is a place of reflection. Okay. Mm -hmm. A place for you to ask yourself, how did I get here? Yeah. Right. A place for you to convince yourself that you'll never go back there again. You'll never allow that to happen again. Right. You'll never be talked to back then again. Yes. You'll never put yes. yourself in that position again. Yes. And when you come to that realization, the only thing left for you to do is not give up. That's right. Right. That's right. Not feel sorry for yourself. Yes. Not to think that it's over, that there's no place else for you to go. Mm -hmm. There is some place else for you to go. Yes. In fact, you've got so much growing room <laughs> when you're down yeah. that your life is transformed yeah. in you going up. That's right. That's right. So much room to grow. Right. When you hit rock bottom, mm. when all else has failed, yeah. don't give up because there's so much more room to grow. Yeah. When I think about it, I think I can touch the ground, mm. but I can't touch it. That's right, that's right. And that's how far I got to grow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got so far to go. Yes, Lord. And I know that the Lord God wants to do one thing for his people. He wants to bless you. Yeah. Lord. He wants to bless you. Yeah. He doesn't care how far you've fallen down. He wants to lift you up. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't Lord. care 
How many people have turned their backs on you? His arms are always open unto you. And so I just want you to know that the Lord loves the one that people don't love. The Lord cares for the one that people don't care for. The one comes for, the Lord comes for the one that nobody wants to talk to. In other words, the Lord, the Lord loves the down and drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He loves the one that they said would never be nothing. Yeah. Jesus. He loves the one that's been misunderstood. Yeah. He loves the one that's been hurt. And he loves you. Yeah. Yeah. So don't think that just because you're down now, that you always got to stay down. Mm -hmm. come on. Remember, come on, when you're down, you can touch it. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. You can feel it. Yeah. But sometimes when you're going up, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you just can't conceive it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. You've been down so long yeah. that you just can't envision yeah. going up. Yeah. You've been talked about so bad that you can't envision. A kind word. Mm -hmm. right. But that's when you can get there. That's right. Because you see, eyes have not heard. Oh, Jesus. Eyes have not seen, nor has it, I, it has heard that what the Lord has for you. Yeah. 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 So the Lord told Solomon, I've heard your prayer. Those that are downtrodden, he's heard your prayer. Yes, Lord. Moses said, show me more of you. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. He showed him his compassion, yes. Yes. his mercy, and he yes. became a friend Hallelujah. of God. Yes, Lord. Oh, my God. When people tell you you're the least, he's already seen the best. Yes. Yes, yes. I mentioned Solomon because Solomon had to rebuild this temple. People that did not know God, even the people of Israel had wandered away. Mm -hmm. And Solomon spent a long time looking at Second Chronicles, talking to Praying to God about all the things that his people have done. And, and he said, if, Lord, if yeah. you just give them another chance. Yeah. They downtrodden, they down, they did some bad things, Lord. They forgot who you were. You forgot who you were and what you can do. And the Lord heard him. Mm -hmm. He knew what they had done. Yeah, yeah. How they forgot about him and mm -hmm. took care of their own home and not took care of the temple. So I tell you that it, sometimes you being down is because you brought yourself there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody brought you there. Sometimes you just gave up on yourself, yeah. and gave up on God, and just found yourself there. And you looked around and you found yourself by yourself. Yeah. yeah. You looked around and you found yourself without. But I just want you to know that if you decide to try Jesus again, yeah, yeah. I want you to know that if you decide to get back up again, I want you to know that if you decide to speak up for Jesus when nobody else can. Baby, the Lord said, I heard your prayer. And I've chosen this temple as a place for making sacrifices. And at this time, if my people will just humble themselves, yeah. you would just humble yourself. You would just humble yourself. And turn from the way that you were acting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just turn. Yeah. My eyes will be open and my ears will be attentive. Every prayer made in the city. That's what he told him. 
if you just humble yourself a little bit and turn. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. if you're down, <laughs> if you made some wrong choices, you feel far off from God. If people have misunderstood you, I want you to know that there's somewhere else for you to go. Yeah. And that's up. Yeah. Right. You can rise up. Yes, Lord. If you humble yourself and turn around and redirect yourself toward the Lord. Remember who he is. Compassionate. Yeah. Loving. Yeah. Kind, yes. forgiving. Yes, Lord. He's not like us. When you come on back into his presence, come on, come on, come on. Come on back into his presence. Come on, come on. I see you rising up. I see you rising up. Come back. Come back into his presence. Come with us up. It's you and God. You down, you've been down long enough. Been down long enough. You fell far off from God. Far enough, far enough, far enough. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. They call you everything but a child of God. That's okay. God knows who you are. Come on, come on, get up. Get up, get up. He comes for you, the one that they talked about. He comes for you. On the down part, and come on, come on. I'll show you a way to see. He comes for you. He comes for you. I can tell you because he came for me. Hallelujah, he came for me. Hallelujah, when I didn't feel like I was worth anything, he came for me. When I felt like I was about to lose my mind and didn't want to be here on this earth anymore, he came for me. Come on, you can get up. I got up. Come on. I'll help you. Come on. I'll help you get up. And I stand before you today to say that the Lord loved me back to where I needed to be. Yeah. And he will love you back to where you yeah. need to be. Yeah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Lord. Come on, you can get back up. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Amen. should not shy away from it. This is part of our covenant relationship with the Lord God. And now is an opportunity for us to give back a small portion of what God has given to us. He's been a provider. He's come through for every time. Yes, Lord. He's never left us. He's never forsaken us. Not in any way. Spiritually interested. None of that. And God has always been a provider. Yes, and so now is the time for us to be joyous in this opportunity to give back to God. And this covenant relationship is just another way to fellowship with him. Amen. Amen. And if you're joining us online right now, we want to know how you can join in this fellowship because it's truly a fellowship with the Lord. He said in his word, be sure to set aside a tenth of all that your fields produce each year. That means set aside a tenth of what we have done together, you and the Lord, him being a provider, you holding out your hands in your life and saying, Lord, help me. And then the Lord pouring back into you making sure we have a roof over our head, food to eat, yes. clothes on our backs, yes, amen. amen. And if you're joining us online and you want to be a part of this fellowship giving, you can do that. You can uh, go to Cash App. Our Cash App name is Total Church. You can go to the website, Empowering Lives, and click on Contact Us and click on Donate, EmpoweringLives.com. You can also uh, call your class leader at 510-688-7437. And also, for those of you who 
would like to continue with your prayers and your requests to God. Don't forget about phyllisscottministries.com. Your prayers and your request that you want to make known to God. Amen. 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 But right now, Father God, we just ask that you bless, bless the gifts, Lord, and bless the hands that are given. Bless the hands I want to give, God, who are in are in preparation for it, to give, Lord. God, we pray that the gifts that you give us, Lord, and that we give back to you, God, we do it for your kingdom work, Lord, so that somebody else may be built up in Christ Jesus, so that somebody else might know just how good you are, so that somebody else might know that you are the provider, and that we just thank you, Lord, holy God. God. We thank you and we bless you. We pray for the shepherd of this house, Lord, that her needs may be met, God, as she does the kingdom work, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord Jesus, to be faithful unto you, Lord, as you have been so faithful unto us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And if you're in the sanctuary today, you can just come from wherever you are to give your gifts or touch the basket in expectation of who God is and what he's doing in your life. Hallelujah. We are so grateful to him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father God, we thank you once again, Lord, because we can't thank you enough, God, for everything that you've done and everything that you continue to do, Lord. Let these blessings be a blessing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And now Reverend Ora Hicks will come forward with the reading of the Holy Word. Amen. 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 A few more minutes. Amen. We stand for the reading of God's holy word, giving our glory to the Lord God. Amen. And it reads as such. And Je Jabez was more honorable than his brethren, and his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I dare him with Solomon. Verse 10. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldst bless me indeed and enlarge my coast. And that thy hand might be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. May God add a blessing to the readers and ears and ears of the Holy Word. You may be seated in his holy presence. And after this musical selection, the next voice you shall hear will be that of the pastor, Reverend Brother Scott. Amen. 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 For the Holy Spirit in your hearts and minds, we come back.
how much I've had to go through and how much I've suffered. But if you just think about what God has done thus far, yeah, yeah. God did not promise you that it was going to be easy. Right. But he did promise you that he would never forsake you right. or leave you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did promise you that if you would be faithful to him, yeah. he would be faithful to you. Oh, yes. We got to remember that oftentimes our lives, unbeknownst to our own control, just get started on the bad foot. Yeah. Sometimes women will have children that don't have any means of taking care of them. And that mother and that child go through a lot to make. Oftentimes fathers just don't have a good job and can't provide, even though their hearts want to. They can't provide like the world says that we are supposed to provide. And if you get caught up in all of that, sometimes you'll forget to cry out yeah, to God. Yeah. And ask God for deliverance and protection and to make a way out of nowhere. Sometimes we'll forget just how far God has brought us from. What God has done for us already. Yeah, 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 yeah. Circumstances that we did not plan for ourselves, yeah, but found yeah. ourselves there already. Yeah. Found ourselves in bad situations. Mm -hmm. Find ourselves broken and hurt. Yeah. Ask God, what did I do to deserve this? And the Lord is silent. Because he knows that we were born into yeah. slavery, born yeah. into pain, born into hurt. Yes. But it does not dictate yet who you shall be. That's know. right. Amen. Amen. So today I want to talk about seeking the greater blessing. Amen. Glory be to God. Yes, yes. And no matter where you came from. Mm -hmm. Or how bad your circumstances yeah. may be, yeah. you can seek the greater blessing. Yes, yes. And it shall be given unto you. Lord. Because our God is just that good. Our God is a blessing, God. Oh, yes, yes. Our God is a loving God. Yes. Yes. And so the greater blessing is even for the woman that. Didn't know how she was going to raise her children. And all five of them got different daddies. Yeah. Well, the greater blessing is for her as yeah. well. Yeah. The greater blessing is for the man that yeah. used to sell drugs on the street. Yeah. Right. And now he's turned his life around. The yeah. greater blessing yeah. is yeah. his as well. Yeah. The greater blessing is for anyone, regardless of your circumstances. Yeah. Because of the gracious God we serve. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, Lord God. You're here, you're there, you're everywhere. Yes, Lord. You've not missed one place, Lord God, that you have not touched with your holy power. God, you brought back in my mind years ago when my father took me out in ministry with him. And I still see today his brown suit he wore all the time. And yes, Lord God, he was a man that didn't have much, that had five children and a wife to raise, Lord God. But you found favor. And he found favor in you. And so, Lord God, I stand before you, Lord God, as that man's daughter as a child of God, as a mother and a grandmother, Lord. asking holy God, holy God, that you put your hand on me and use me for such a time as this. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I'm going to read the scripture.
scripture in a minute, but first I want to go straight to the introduction. But the scripture that I will read at the appropriate time is from First Chronicles 4, 9 and 10. And the topic for this discussion is seeking the greater blessing. Amen. Now, in the first Chronicles, the fourth chapter, I'm not going to fool you. I'm not going to trip you. It is one of the most glorious chapters you ever want to read. It is one of the most intimidating and frankly uninteresting mm -hmm. chapters in the Bible. Right. I'm just going to be there. So when you go there, that's what you're going to see. Because the first nine chapters of this book is devoted to the geology uh, or the official recording of the family of Israel. All right. It goes down, mentioning a bunch of names for nine chapters. From Adam through a thousand years to about 500 BC, you get a recount of the people of Israel. And it's born. The endeavor makes for a hundreds of names. This great endeavor of writing these four or several chapters go through great names that are very difficult to pronounce. All right. Okay. You may stumble all through them trying to untie your tongue to just understand or to pronounce these names. And yet, in the midst of this litany of names and historical recount mm -hmm. is the briefest of biographies unfold. Okay. And it is here in two verses we learn everything. In two verses yeah. we learn everything that the Bible has to say mm -hmm. about a man named Jabal. All right. All right. All right. And so now I want you to read with me not all the geology, not all the bibliography of all the various people there. I want you to read with me First Chronicles, the fourth chapter, and just two verses, and that would be nine and ten. Amen. And I'm going to read it from the New Living Translation of the Holy Scripture. There was a man named Jabal who was more honorable than any of his brothers. His mother named him Jabal because his birth had been so painful. He was the one who prayed to God of Israel, oh, that you would bless me and expand my territory. Please be with me in all that I do and keep me from all trouble and pain. And God granted his request. That's all. That's all you hear. You may be seated about the man named Jabal. And there it is. A man who began his name that was literally destined to show his life a life of misery. His name meant pain. Can you imagine how it was to go to school or to be around other people? Because in those days, names were important. Names signified what your parents thought of you. Names signified who you may or may not become. Mm -hmm. And his name stood for pain because his mother brought him into life in great pain through her childbirth. He was a man with nothing and a gloomy prospect based not on what he did, mm -hmm based on nothing that he did, yeah. but based on his name mm -hmm. and the birth that his mother went through. He was destined uh -huh. for a gloomy life. I can imagine he may have even felt that his mother didn't love him. Why would she name him yes, yes. a name such as Jabaz? But in his current position 
of desperation, yeah. of gloominess, yeah. of sadness, yeah. he cried out to God. This simple prayer, mm -hmm. a prayer that many of us have prayed before, waiting for some miracle to happen. Mm -hmm. Taking it word by word, hoping that something will change mm -hmm. our life. Jim has in his current position, in his current situation, downcasted, feeling bad, it said that he was a man, was more honorable than his brother, but he carried this name at birth because his mother bore him in pain. I keep going there because I need you to understand how you may have felt if your mother named you something that caused her pain. Mm -hmm. And that every time she called your name, yeah. you remind her of one of the worst days of her life. Come on, Pastor. Come on. She did not remind him of the joy mm -hmm. that the birth brought, but the pain mm -hmm. that the birth brought. But yet he cried out to God this simple prayer, a prayer that would change the direction of his life and end it in the most and, and in the defeatedness that he felt. Mm -hmm. A prayer that would change the trajectory of his life and cause him to be honored in the eyes of God. Yes. That yet, even though every time his mother called his name, mm -hmm. it reminded him of the pain he caused her yes. at birth, mm -hmm. he still had enough belief in yes. him to know that if he cried out yes. to God, yes. God could change yes. the yes. situation. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is in this short story of Jabaz that we see how the honest, sincere prayer of Jabaz led him to his personal, look at this, transformation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. Come on, Pastor. His personal transformation yeah. was tied up in this two lessons mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the entire book of First Chronicles. Yeah. He's never mentioned again. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But transformation yeah. took place yeah, yeah. because he cried out to God, believing that God would hear him and see him and move on his heart. Yeah. See, that's what God is looking yeah, for. Yeah. He's looking for a heartfelt prayer yeah. with expectation of things to take place. In that prayer, hallelujah. Yeah. He's looking for an expectation of things that you expect him to do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That you're coming to God in this prayer expecting. God, here I am, broken. Yeah. Oh, now, but I'm expecting. Yeah. Yeah. Here I am, yes, cursed from birth up, but I'm expecting. Yeah. Yeah. You're bad. In this honest, sincere prayer, personal prayer that calls transformation. And in these few verses, we see the beginning, the middle, and the end. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, he's this man named Jabad. And at the end, he becomes transformed into the most honorable man amongst any of his other brothers. Yes, yes, yes. If Jabad was around today, and you were to ask him about his remarkable transformation and how he moved from meager circumstances to the greater good, I'm sure he would tell you that his prayer had no special power. Come on, that's That his prayer did not get mixed up with special magical words. Mm -hmm. And even though several years ago everybody was praying the prayer of Jabbat, yeah. He did not say that prayer for you to reincarnate it. He said that prayer to show you that sometimes you got to just expect God yeah, yeah, to transform you yeah, even in circumstances yeah, that are not your own. Hallelujah. He would not tell you that he had some magical word or 
the magical, mystical language. He would tell you, I think, that if you want God's greater purpose for your life, no matter how unpromising you might be right now, you've got to pray expecting something yeah. to change yeah. in your life. Yeah. Uh, I think that, you've yeah. got to have that Javon will tell you that you've got to be so desperate Come on, man. and so sick and tired yeah, yeah, yeah. of where you are. Yeah. So tired of being down yeah, 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 yeah. So tired of feeling all far off from God. Yeah. Right. So tired of seeing the look of hurt in people's eyes when they oh, see you. Yeah. Rather than promise that you have no where else to go but in prayer. Yeah. You can expect the miracles to happen. Yeah. In prayer, Hallelujah. you can expect the transformation yes, to happen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I believe that Javon would say that you got to expect something to change in your life. You make a world a world request, and then you wait for God to answer. Mm -hmm. You wait. It doesn't say when <laughs> Javad's transformation. Yeah. As I say, we don't hear anything else about him anymore. Mm -hmm. But we do know that he became more honorable yeah. than any of his brothers. Yeah. Lord. Personal change occurs not over circumstances, nor in what others believe of us. In Javad's case, it was his mother's labeling him with a name that meant pain. Mm -hmm. She could have chosen any name in the world, right? But she gave her son the stigma mm -hmm. of carrying yes. her pain. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Mm. He could have chosen to stay in the place that his mother put him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the place that his mother put him. As a nobody, mm -hmm. not going nowhere, yeah, yeah. a disappointment, mm -hmm. a painful experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He could have stayed there yeah. where his mother put him, mm -hmm. the woman that should have nurtured him yeah. and loved him and never recounted yeah. the pain that she went through right, right. to give right. birth to him. Right. But she didn't. And he could have chosen, hallelujah, to stay in the desperate place of pain. But he knew a God. Yes, yes yeah. come on. He knew a God. Yeah. That could take him to a greater purpose yeah. in his life. Yeah. Than to be the poster boy for pain. Come, come on, now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. I know somebody. I know somebody. Mm -hmm. So come on, bless him, because now you just found out that you don't have to Ooh, say that. Right, right. Bless you, bless you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. You can say the prayer of the God. It's not natural. You can say your own Lord. prayer, yeah. your own expectation yeah. that God's going to do yes, to Lord. take you from your pain say that. to a Lord. greater purpose. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm talking about a greater purpose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm talking about a greater purpose. Yeah. Yeah. A greater purpose. Yeah. One that you did not know was right. yours. Yes, right. Hallelujah, you didn't hear me. Lord. I'm talking about the Lord. I said a greater purpose. Yes. One that you did not know yes. was yours. Yes. Yes. All you have to do is ask yes. of him. Javaz had a good understanding, an essential aspect of who God was. Yes. And I believe that that knowledge that Javaz had motivated Javaz's prayer yes. because he understood the God that he was yes, talking yes, to. Yes, 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 yes. Some of us don't understand who we're talking to. We don't understand what God's purpose is yes. for us. We don't understand that there's a greater purpose on, that you God. could ever see. Yes, well, yes.
You, you, you know, some of us don't live like we know that. Some of us don't live like we know that God wants to bless us. Some of us walk around still with that bag of defeat on us. God has said that I'm going to change it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We still walk around with that bag of defeat. Many don't receive the blessing because we don't believe that we're worthy of the blessing. Uh huh, that's it right there. We don't believe that we're worthy of the yeah. blessing. You may think that you've done too much, said too much, been too many places, lived a life that was so far off from God that you're just not worthy. Mm -hmm. Or that God just don't want to bless folks like you. Yeah. God's got a particular folk he wants to bless and you're not one of them. Maybe you feel like that. Maybe you feel that God just don't want to bless you. But listen to what God says about who He is. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you ever ask him who on. He is? Yeah. 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 Have you ever said, God, who are you yeah. that you should bless me? Who are you that you find me worthy? Who are you yeah. that you stand up for me when nobody else did? Yeah. Who are you that loves me even though I don't love myself? Who are you? ever asked him because in the book of Exodus the 34th chapter Moses did mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in the Exodus 34 6 Moses asked him Come on. and the Lord said the Lord the Lord God is merciful yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the Lord the Lord God is merciful and gracious mm -hmm. the Lord God your God is long suffering and abounding in goodness and truth. Yeah. See, he told him who he is. Yeah. Uh -huh. so you want to know who I am? Who I am. Yeah. You don't think I want to bless you? Ask me who I am. Ask me who I am. Yeah. Filled with mercy, filled yeah. with love, long suffering, gracious, abounding in truth and goodness. Yes, Lord. Ask me. <laughs> Moses asked him and became a friend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, you got to be a holy asker. Yes, yes. Uh, I'll say that again. Yeah. You got to be a holy asker. Okay. Yeah. You got to ask in the holiness of his presence. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knowing that if you make a holy request of God yeah. in the holiness of his goodness, yeah. God is going to bless you yeah. real good. Hallelujah. Uh, because he says, ask me, and it will be given to you. Yeah. Uh, uh, seek. And you will find it. Oh, yeah. Knock. And the door will be open. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's a holy ass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a holy yeah. ass. Yeah. Somebody yeah. that knows if they ask, yeah. if they seek, if they knock. Yeah. He's going to open that door. And yeah. yeah. give you the blessing yeah. that will move you yeah. from your purpose to a greater purpose on, than you ever knew. Yeah. Blessing oh, God. Is God's favor and happiness and joy and success mm -hmm. in your life? Come on, glory. Well, I'm going to have to look at it one more time. Yes, yes, yes. There was a man named Tobias mm -hmm. who was more honorable than any of his brothers. Mm -hmm. His mother named him Tobias because his birth had been so famous. He was the one who prayed to God in Israel. Oh, that you will bless me and expand my territory. Yeah. What territory? In him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the Lord. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people don't want to pray this prayer because they're scared they, get, they may get some more response. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. You pray, pray to God. Wait a minute. I got to back up. Hold on. Oh, no. We don't pray that. Uh-uh, the see that support right there? No. That's what the guy wants. Yeah, yeah. He wants God yeah. to not only bless him, but expand his territory mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in the Lord. Yeah, yeah. And then he says, please be with me in all that I do. He didn't want to do anything yeah. that was displeasing yeah, to God. Yeah, yeah. And keep me out of trouble. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
The trouble is all around you. Yeah. Right. You know, some of God's people always want to fall in trouble and just say, I just, I don't know how I got there. Yeah, you do. Come on, say that. You weren't praying right. That's right. That's right. You weren't asking God to keep you out of trouble. Come on, Pastor. God, you totally overlooked that part of the prayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. God, keep me out of, uh, you know, uh, well, keep me safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't be asking God to keep you out of trouble because you know you're heading towards Come on, Pastor. As soon as you get out of church, you're going to head towards Come on, Pastor. That's right. But you're bad. Yeah. Your bad was a holy ask. Yeah, yeah. 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 And when he asked God, he asked God for the holy things of God. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that you would bless me and expand my territory. Please be with me in all that I do and keep me from all trouble and pain. And God, look at this, granted what? His request. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a holy actor. Yeah. He was looking for a blessing in the yeah. bread of good. And he understood who he was talking to. That's right, that's right. He understood that's that right. he was talking to a God yeah, yeah, yeah. that wants to bless his yeah, people. Yeah. That they just got to be holy as expecting God yeah. to do the greater good in them. Yeah. And then they got to just rejoice yeah. and wait on God. That's to right, that's right. God said he wants to do anyway. Yeah. Hallelujah, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah, Lord. Yeah. I'm waiting yeah. for the greater purpose. Yeah. I'm waiting for the greater good. Yeah. I'm waiting yeah. for the greater good. Yeah. I'm waiting yeah. for the greater things to be done in me. Yeah. Come on, bless him. Yeah. Come on, bless him. Come on and bless him. Yeah. So if you want me to tell you that there was some mystical, magical word in there. I can't do that. Right. right. If you want me to tell you that your bad had something special going on, yeah. I can't do that. Right. Yeah. right. But what I can tell you is that your bad knew who he was talking about. Yeah. Right. And he understood that he was a God. Yeah. And wants to bless his people. Yeah. And he knew that he asked God all the holy things of God. Yeah. The holy things of God. Hallelujah. Cover his life. Yeah. And transform him. Yeah. And move him into right. his greater purpose. Yeah. And so the Lord blessed him. Yeah. And he made him an honorable man. Yeah. He no longer bore the pain and the shame of the name his brother gave him. He was an honorable man. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And now you, Come you, yeah. step into your presence of yeah. God and become a holy ass yeah. and expect God to give you your greater purpose. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. circumstances 
that aren't even our own. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. It doesn't matter what the circumstances are. That's it's right. all about the God we serve. Yes. And men, I know you guys are not going to do this. You got to be a holy ass. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Amen. See, you Amen. can't just go asking for any old no, thing, no. any old kind of way. No. He was a holy ass. Yes. He wanted to be blessed in the holy things of God. Yes. Yes, and that's Lord. what we need to be holy at. Yes, Looking for the holy things of God. Yes. And that transformation in our life. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Yes. Shouting so oh, yes. 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 Amen. 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 That was a good word. Amen. A good word. Amen. And we Lord. are so grateful today to God and for that word. For this fellowship, amen. Amen. Well, we'll just ask Pastor Scott to come one more time to lead us to the end of this service, amen. 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 Thank the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank the Lord today. Hallelujah. The Lord is good all the time. And so worthy to be praised. Yes. Yes. I woke up this morning with my mind on the Lord. Hallelujah. And Lord. He has yes. kept me there in this one place all day, all yes. morning. Yes. Thank you. All morning, and you know. I want to continue to encourage us to be holy after. Amen. 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 Ask for the things that blesses him because you know it goes back to that scripture in Matthew. If you seek ye first the kingdom of God you know, all right. and his righteousness and all these other things, yes. we'll go yes. after yes. Yes. Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's a holy after. Yes. Yes. Be a holy yes. after. Because he says, if you just seek my kingdom first, don't worry about the other things. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. just comes to me. See, he said, he, he, the Lord asked Javon, said, Lord, bless me. Bless me. I can imagine he got tired. Mm -hmm. I can imagine he was tired. Right. Can you imagine that? Yes. All of his life, he ain't called yeah. to bad. Yeah. He ain't reminded of the pain that he caused his mother with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Yes. So, 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 mother with the children yes. and the many baby daddies, but God. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. Don't let anybody put you down. That's right. Now, you get up. Yes. Come on, God. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. All we ask is just ask the Lord. Yes. When you lay on, we just get up and ask the Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, God. Yes, Lord. The ones that say you what going to never be nothing, brother. Yes, Lord. The way just got out of jail today, brother. This man got it out of jail last week, brother. You don't have no way to get around. You don't have no job. I need you to know that God still loves you. He still loves the downcast. Yes. Yes, he does. Just be a holy ass. Come yes. on, just ask Amen. the Lord to what you Yes. Is. Lord. And then you wait on the Lord and be a good girl. Yes. Be a good girl. Wait on the Lord. Take courage to wait on the Lord. Be a holy ass. Be a holy ass. Lord. Come on. Young girls can't go home because there's so much violence in your home. I need you to know that the Lord has many Jesus. mansions. Hallelujah. There are many mansions. Yes. Jesus. The Lord belongs to you. Yes, Lord. I know it may seem dark. Jesus. I know you may feel alone. But I don't need you to give up. I need you to get us. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. On the streets, I know you feel like you don't have no other way. Yes, yes, yes. But the way that you're living right now, but I know that you know that I want you to know the God that you serve yes, is merciful, yes, loving, Lord. kind, gracious. Hallelujah. And he will love you back. Yes, yes Lord. Yes. Yes, to your place, your yes, honorable yes. place. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Nobody is left out right. unless you want to be. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. I just love the Lord today. I don't know what he's doing today. Oh, yeah. I feel all over. I feel all over. I feel all over. I feel all over. Yes, Lord. I feel him talking to those that feel like Lord. they've been downcasted. Those that feel the least, I need you to know that you're not the least. He who has last, who is last, shall be first. He who has been last has will be first. He that's been counted out, she that's been counted out, shall be counted into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Yes. Lord. Yes. I need you to know that there's a plan in process. And the Lord will not stop until his plan comes into fruition, yes, yes. into completion. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Today is a good day. 
If you heard the word, thank you, Lord. It's a good day if you heard the word of God, because it will cause you to want to run on. Oh yes, yes a little Lord. bit longer. Oh, yes, Hallelujah, thank Jesus. You, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord bless His name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless his name. Give him glory. Give him glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is time, no matter where you are, this is time. Thank In your life, you sit. He's a healer. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. He's a healer. Yes, he is. You got to be a holy asker. Just ask him. Ask him.
day I get back up, you try again. In Jesus' name. Amen. And when you said that prayer, just like I said it, then today you've gotten back up. Amen. And you're going to start this walk again. This is Sunday, November 28th. You may not see this message until Monday. Whatever day you see this message, you get back up. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Because the message is the message. Yes. And it does not change. Now I'm going to ask. If you want to reach me, you can go on phyllisscottministries.com and send me a message and I'll be glad to respond to you. You can tell me how you got back up and I'll celebrate with you. Now, Reverend A, will we just send the benediction of the closing prayer. Father God, Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for your shepherd. For the message from on high. We just ask, Father God, that you help us to know who you are, God, and to help us in times of trouble. Help us to get back up, Lord Jesus. And now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant, brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, oh, yes. Lord. that great shepherd of the sheep, yes. equip you with everything good for doing his will. Yes, Lord. And may he work in us what is pleasing to you. Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. 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 Amen.